Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at Socio Board. And this is a new product that hit AppSumo and you can pick it up right now while it's available for starting at $59. This is a way that you can streamline your social media operations across all of your channels. Now this is a social media um, automation tool and schedule and poster and all that kind of uh, good stuff. Now I have done a couple other um, reviews on Okoya and FeedHive. I would put this in that group. Um, however, uh, the other one focuses, uh, the other two, Okoya and FeedHive, focus on content creation, whereas SocioBoard, from the way I'm taking it, is more of a scheduler, and it's going to more assume that you already have a your graphics and everything designed. So it, you could put it in the box with FeedHive in the same genre as FeedHive and Okoya and other tools but it also uh, deserves to kind of be outside of those tools as well because it's a very, very robust schedule and it's not so much of a, a, a content creation tool, if that makes sense. So we're gonna jump in um, and just come over here. Um, it is an alternative to Hootsuite, the leading uh, industry leading uh, audio automation for uh, social media and they kind of set the standards. So there's a v video you can watch as well. And they do have a really nice uh, user interface and we're going to go check all that out. There is kind of a lot going on and we're going to see, we'll see if it seems a little clunky or if it's very easy to use. Now here's all the stuff you get. You get lifetime access to socio board and all the good stuff here. You get calendar, social media based CRM, so uh, social Scheduling and posting link uh, blogs from Medium and Tumblr, I believe. And they have currently have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and YouTube. So uh, this one separates itself from Koya and FeedHive that they've already integrated Pinterest and YouTube. So uh, if you want more integrations, this tool is definitely going to be that tool. Content suggestions. Now they do have apps. We're going to go look at this. Um, you can integrate with Pixabay, Dailymotion, Imager, uh, Flickr, and Giphy, uh, really cool. And they focus on reports and just overall management of your social media. And then what is this discovery search in YouTube and Twitter? Not sure what that is, but uh, competitor analysis for Facebook and Instagram and a link shortener with uh, Bitly. I'm not really sure uh, Bitly, you're gonna get blocked, I believe on Facebook and stuff if you use Bitly, but that's cool that they have a link shortener. Uh, it would be nice to see more integrations right there. So they start off with a license tier one, and this will be good for most of you. I wanted to uh, go ahead and just do some quick math for you. So you get 200, I, I doubt that you're gonna have 50 team members checking your stuff. And and if you only have a max of 200 post schedules, you're not going to need 50 team members going and managing 200 posts, right? You wouldn't even need 50 team members to manage a thousand posts. So that's really not um, the big deal breaker right here, um, which is team members. But the maximum schedule account is what the is really going to separate the tier levels. So if I get a calculator out here and I take the 200 right? 200. And we divide that by a month. I always like to look at scheduling out social media in a month basis. We're going to look at that. So you could do 6.6. .6. So basically you, with the license tier one, you can schedule out six posts across all platforms. Uh, and if you're just a solopreneur, and you really, uh, you know, you're going to sit down and spend 15 minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes a day scheduling out six posts or spend about four hours um, on a Monday and maybe try to get uh, two, three, or even four weeks scheduled out for the month. Then this one would be a great plan for you, the $59 level. However, when you jump up into license tier two, I think that that's going to be the license that most people are going to, to need because you take 500 and you divide that uh, by 30 days in the month and you're going to get 16 posts posts per day across. So let's say you're using four platforms divided by four platforms. Okay. So you're going to be able to put four per platform per day. So it really, you really will fill this out. Um, believe it or not, you'll fill those 500 out if you're actually um, hitting social media hard. And if you want to just um, make sure you have enough um, to post, then you can uh, go with the, the thousand right there. Okay. Now the way that you combat this is I would, I like to schedule out a month in advance, but if you wanted to schedule, you know, a hundred or 50 a, a day, you would just need to be uh, scheduling all your posts out more often, right? So um, you could make this go um, a long ways for you, but you would have to go into the tool and, and work on social media a lot more often. Okay. So they are brand new, just hit this AppSumo deal. They don't even have any reviews up yet, but let's go. And I'm already logged into an account. I've already connected one of my accounts. I've connected two accounts, right? So I'm on the home dashboard right here. Uh, wait, let's go into here. Yeah. So we're on the dashboard over here. 
Now, uh, the first thing that you do is I'm just going to point out uh, that you, uh, it does have a really slick, modern feel, modern design for the UI. It, they do have a blur around everything, which, you know, it, it looks fancy and all, but um, there is a lot going on. So want to be a little bit careful with that. Now, for me personally, you know, the, the design right here is kind of blending in with the background a little too much. It would be nice if these boxes were just a little bit different color or something like that, because it just seems like they're blending into themselves. Uh, it's an interesting look, but there is a lot going on. Now you can see on just the uh, sheer dashboard, I've already went ahead and connected to accounts because I wanted to uh, not have to do that in front of you guys. Connecting was very easy. It was just a couple clicks and it automatically integrated with everything. So I've got my favorite. Facebook, uh, one of my Facebook pages connected. You can see the status right here. And then we have um, one of my e-com shops is connected with Pinterest. So we have a Pinterest and a Facebook integration. Uh, I wanted to point out that there is a, a, a dark and light theme. So if we click the button up here, it will switch to dark theme. So if you guys like that, and you're gonna spend a lot of time in here and you want it easy in the eyes, or if it's nighttime, this would be a great one. So if you're working on this at night, right now I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the light uh, version. Uh, so they have a, a nice dashboard and it looks like it shows how many social accounts you have, how many scheduled public schedule published posts you have total post count and publish and all kinds of stuff. And if any of them failed, you'd have that over here. Uh, so you can come over here. The first thing you're going to do is go to social accounts and go to view accounts. Then you're going to come over here and you can see Facebook. I have one connected and Pinterest one connected and you're going to just have all of them over here. Now, I'm not really sure what these stars are. I'm not going to really spend any time on that, um, but they give it a, automatically gave it a one star. I'm not really sure what this means, one star through five star. Select social media account and then uh, username. I'm just not really sure, but maybe just how often you're getting uh, likes and how many followers you have, it kind of grades it where you're at. And, and I would agree that both these are one star accounts. Uh, they're just really test accounts. Uh, so you can see all your uh, accounts right here. It's really easy just to add accounts. You just put, click the button over here. You click on right over here. If I was going to add a uh, Twitter account, you would just do that and you would add a Twitter uh, profile. It just takes you through the steps very, very easy. You can come over here, click on blog accounts and you have medium and you have Tumblr, which is really cool. And uh, you have this publishing. Now there's schedule post. You can click the publishing button to always take you to do an action, which is great. Uh, there is something, where is it over here? So if I wanted to uh, publish a Pinterest, it's right there. Uh, Daily Y Social Q and YouTube Publish. Uh, okay, so we're going to come back over and to the dashboard real quick. Back to the dashboard and you can see what plan you're on and you can create a new post by clicking that button. And then there's also an extensive report. Let's go ahead and create a post real quick. So I'm going to create a post right here and this one's saying creating a post for Facebook. So that would be a Facebook post. So what we're going to do is we're going to just share one of my blogs that I have. Let's see over here. I'm going to go to realistic pay and I'm going to share a post. Just going to view something over here. I'm going to grab the link here and then we're going to go back over and I'm just going to uh, throw that in there and let's see what happens. It should gather a picture and, or maybe this is the enter the outgoing. So maybe I need to push that in actually. So we put that in. Okay. You have to click the Facebook button right over here and then right here. Not really sure. It should be able to do something based on the link. That doesn't seem like it's happening. Okay. So we have an outbound link going on right there. I'm just going to put right here. All right, and then we have the outbound link going on right there. And then we can just do a, a schedule post, normal schedule post uh, day wise. So it looks like they have uh, where they will measure the most activity that you get. And then the, it will actually automatically publish when it's, when the AI thinks it's ready. I'm just going to do a normal post and we are going to select the 15th. That's great. And then what time do we want to publish this at? And I'm going to just say, do do 10, let's go 10 50. Uh, AM and that looks good and we'll push schedule. So we'll see what ends up happening with that, uh, what it ends up looking like on the, the Facebook page. Um, I'm going to come back over to the publishing button. 
So I'm just going to take a pause real quick and just uh, share, you know, uh, it's a really cool tool. Uh, I really like it. And they're on version five. So this has been around the block. It's been around for some time. I don't know when it came out, but they've obviously done a lot of work to it and they have a lot of integrations and a lot of reporting and analysis, all kinds of stuff since I've connected a, but what I will say, uh, let me finish that thought is that it's still, it is a little clunky. There's just so much going on. now that could be because it is very advanced and there's a lot of things you can do, but um, there's also, it's just a little bit less simplicity. There's a lot of buttons up here. Then there's a lot of buttons over here, a lot of buttons over here. And so it, right now, sometimes you just kind of feel like you don't really know where you're supposed to go inside the software to do stuff right? So that would just be a, a little bit of an observation. This is the first time I'm using the tool. So that also is part of it. So if I wanted to go now, I want to go over a couple of these things, obviously reports and stuff. We're not going to have much reports to look at. If I come over here, Facebook, we don't even have anything published. So we'll come back to that in a minute. The discovery button. Let's go check that out real quick. Now they do have integrations with this. Now you can do competitor analysis on some of them, automated RSS feeds and content studio. You can connect these right here. So if I wanted to connect uh, Pixabay or news API to go out and get ideas, then um, obviously I don't have the plan for that, but they do have all these different uh, plans right here where you can integrate these to get content to, po to post is what I'm uh, imagining. So that's really cool. There are custom reports. Uh, I'm going to click on the report button or wait, no, we're not going to do that right now. Sorry. Uh, boards. So since we have a Pinterest account connected, I imagine that's where the board comes from. You can actually create a board inside of, of uh socio board, which is cool. And then you can view boards uh, so far when I click that. Okay. So actually, since they're calling it, uh, since it's socio board, those boards may not actually be related to Pinterest. They just call these different boards. They call, that's what this looks like. These, they call these socio boards. You can add these custom features. All right. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to go into publishing and I'm going to go to uh, Pinterest publish. Let's come over here and we have this shop over here and you can see what we want to publish this to. Um, so what am I going to, it's going to be under planners. So I'm going to go printable planner. I'm going to connect there to that board there. Right. And then we're going to do an outbound link here. This is one of my websites. I'm going to copy that, come back into socio board and we're going to put that in right there. And then we can say something. I'm going to go ahead and just grab the 52 week um, challenge printable. And we'll just grab a little bit of text from there and come back in here and make this post right here. Okay. And then you could put in some different uh, other different things. Hashtag printable uh, planner and printable savings um, tracker or something like that. Now, what I don't know is if it has, I'm um, no only one items at a single time. That's okay. So that is not as obvious, but if we want to put a, an image, that's where we're going to click. So I'm going to go grab that image real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is grab the image. We're going to grab an image, go to downloads and I have one right here. We'll just push open right there. See what this looks like on the post. Okay. So we have that on the post and so forth. Okay. So then we have a little bit of, a, and then we're not, I don't know what, we'll see what the outbound look link looks like. And then we're just going to push post now. So publishing in process, it will take a few minutes to publish and we'll go and check out our stuff. We'll also go check out the Facebook page and see if that other one did publish. So I'm going to come back over here and let's just go to the dashboard and see if we have anything that has published. I'm going to come over here and you can see right here, published to scheduled one and published to zero failed. There should have been only been one. No, we've had two published. That's right. Because we had one scheduled, but we, but it had already published. Then we just published one straight away. So here we go. Publishing history right there. The other one, one that's completely done should show up. I'm going to push the re refresh button and it should show up pretty soon. But let's go check out the Facebook one. I like the graphics right here. I can check the dark mode out as well. Uh, looks super cool and so forth. So you get some, some basic stats and there's different reports and a calendar view. Let's go click, click that real quick. 
just trying to show you guys everything I can. Um, okay, you don't get the calendar view unless you actually buy, because I'm on a trial account. I gotta decide if I'm gonna buy this for my business or not. So we are gonna go and check out the Facebook page real quick. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down and you can see right here, it was published by SocioBoard. Check out how to make money on Snapchat. I did not add this image manually, but because I added the link, it automatically did that for us. So that's really cool. So if you have a blog, if you're a blogger, all, and all you're gonna do is share links to your blog, then this is super, super easy and simple to schedule these out, really cool. So I like that, it works. The integration works and everything and the stats. I'm gonna go check out the Pinterest and see if that published now too. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna go to, I can see the post is right there, but I'm also going to go and see if I can find the printable planner. Okay. So I'm going to click on printable planner right here. And the, uh, here is the image, right? Here's the image that we just published. You're, you're going to want to try to make sure that you are creating, you know, Pinterest type size, which will be even better, but it did work. Um, here is, here it is. I'm going to click on it and it did publish this for us. And here's the 52 week challenge printable and uh so forth uh and then there's those hashtags and so forth so that integration with pinterest worked well let's go back into the tool real fast and just push refresh and see if that the publish uh down here i'm not really sure publishing history it's not showing that other one that we published that's a not really sure uh, it's not showing the one that we published for pinterest maybe it doesn't show that down here on that one but um overall a uh, really uh, cool tool. Uh, you're going to be able to schedule out to a lot. I think the big benefit of this is that there are a lot of social accounts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, type social media accounts. And then also if you add in medium, that's nine. And it's very easy to connect. They have got extensive reporting. They You can um, sign up other people to manage your social media for you. So if you want to hire someone to come in here and use this tool and schedule all your stuff out, that's great. You could use this tool and, and train them. Overall, I think it's a really, really good tool, a good user interface. And I like just a very, very easy to use. And, you know, it's kind of hard to do a comparison between this and the other tools. Um, this one not is not necessarily a, a content creator, but more of a robust um, schedule, social media um, account automation that has a really, really good, uh, a lot of integrations and then uh, a robust reporting reporting tools as well so really really cool tool you guys leave a comment below what do you guys think of this tool and then uh, do you uh, think that this one looks cooler than the other social media softwares that i've reviewed recently do you think that this uh, one is very similar to those or does this one have enough uniqueness to it that it is you know pretty different than those other ones as well so that's it for this review i hope you guys enjoyed it hit that like button make sure to subscribe so you can get more reviews like this and i'll see you don't don't forget if you do want this tool uh, while it's available go pick it up from AppSumo for starting at $59 a lifetime so you won't have to pay monthly ever again all right see you see you soon